Hello and welcome everyone. This is Andrea Hess and today I want to talk to you about a very surprising mindset that actually keeps you stuck in financial crisis and lack. to hear that one of the most financially toxic mindsets is one that is often upheld as very spiritual, even as healthy. It's acceptance. Sometimes, and I hate to say this, it's even gratitude, which takes acceptance one step further. So here's what I sometimes hear from people. Well, I don't have the money to support myself, so I had to move in with my parents. I have no space of my own. Oh, and they're also undermining my relationship with my kids. But I work really hard to accept the situation and just be grateful that I have a place to stay. Now that sounds quite mature and even spiritual, right? Well, guess what? It's a terribly toxic attitude. It really is. Because what this person is saying is, you know, all these things are horribly wrong in my life, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Now, what is the universe going to give us? More of the same, of course. By striving for inner acceptance, we're actually telling the universe that our financial lack, it's okay. We're telling the universe that we're willing to adapt internally to the external circumstances that we don't want. We're telling the universe that we're willing to give up on what we really want and just accept what we got. And this gets very close to giving up our creatorship. It's horrible. Now, why do we do this? If acceptance is so toxic, why do we strive for it when we're in a bad situation? Because in the moment, all we want to do is feel better. I mean, let's face it, when our circumstances suck, we don't want to dwell on the suckiness. We want to feel better. And acceptance, gratitude, even spiritual surrender, well, those can all make us feel like we are temporarily rising above our financial circumstances, which suck. What we're doing is we're changing our internal reality so that we don't feel bad about ourselves. We disconnect from our external reality. But unfortunately, that disconnection leaves us totally disempowered to change our sucky circumstances. What we're basically doing when we accept is we shut down our feelings about our circumstances. We shut down our feelings about living where we don't wanna live, our feelings about not being able to travel or buy organic foods or buy the clothes that we want to wear. We have to shut down our feelings of dissatisfaction. The problem is that we can't selectively shut down one feeling. We shut them all down. We just stop feeling. We stop being emotional. And here's why this is so dangerous. Emotion is energy in motion. Emotion is what moves us into action when we keep accepting and accepting we literally stop feeling what is wrong. We shut down our emotions and then we feel like we have no energy to change anything. We exist in this state of dispassionate lethargy where we have to watch a movie or a TV show in order to feel. And that's unfortunately how most people live. So I suggest a totally different approach and this will also surprise you. It may make you uncomfortable just Give me the benefit of the doubt and stick with me here, okay? I suggest you make a list of all the circumstances that you are currently tolerating and that you sit with that list and get angry. Yeah, you heard me, get angry. You're a divine being. If you don't have the money to make all the choices you wanna make, that is not okay. Get pissed off about it. You're a divine being. You're gonna live in your parents' basement? You're a divine being? And you're not going to be able to, you know, buy those fabulous shoes that express you perfectly? Not okay. I know that the rest of the world is willing to live like that, but you know better. You know you're a divine being, so get angry. Spiritual people often freak out when I say this. Because, you know, anger has been leveled a negative emotion. And we consider it very bad to be angry. So stick with me here. Anger is a natural reaction that informs us when our boundaries have been crossed. Anger is normal, it's human, it can actually be quite useful, right? We were given it by nature. Here's the thing, if you get angry, 
and then you go eat two bags of cookies on a couch, that's unhealthy. If you get angry and then you go work your anger out at the gym, that's also unhealthy because it doesn't change the circumstances that you're angry about, okay? Anger is designed to give us a surge of energy so that we can reestablish safe boundaries. If someone attacks us, we get angry, we defend ourselves, we reestablish safety, and then the anger dissipates. When anger is not followed by productive action, it gets toxic. If we hold anger inside of us, very unhealthy. But if you use anger to create a surge of emotion and you release that anger through action, it's very, very healthy. So get angry and turn anger into productive action. Do what you haven't had the energy to do. That means you go out to that networking meeting, you invest in that program, you sit at your computer, you do what needs to be done to go and make some money. When you channel anger productively, you unlock your passion. You find, you know, your inner badass spiritual warrior that says, I will make the universe obey my will. I will manifest exactly what I want because I'm a divine being, damn it, and nothing else is acceptable. That's the most spiritual thing you can do when you're stuck in financial circumstances that you don't want. Make no mistake about it, this is aggressive energy. It's designed to move you into action. We don't stay in that state. If your life is awesome and you have money in the bank, we don't need to go into that state. But if you're in lack or in financial trouble, that inner spiritual warrior has to come out and insist on your divinity. Compare that to the energy of acceptance. And you realize that what we label acceptance is often not creative. It's saying, okay, I guess this is enough for me. And then the universe has to agree with you. So try throwing acceptance out the window. Invite your inner spiritual warrior to kick some serious entrepreneurial ass for a while, okay? You'll find that within you, you have all the power you need to create exactly the financial circumstances that you want, you have to give yourself permission to feel. This is Andrea Hess. Thank you so much for watching.